Hi foodie friends, Jessica here with Savor Experiments and today we are making two ingredient dough, also known as magic dough and sometimes Weight Watchers dough. But before we get started, let's make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our delicious recipes. So how in the world do you make dough with two ingredients? Well, let's go back. Historically, dough for bread was just flour and water. We've gotten really fancy over the years and made it taste way more delicious, but we're going back to those basic times, except we're going to use self-rising flour, and this is really the key. Self-rising flour is an all-purpose flour that has a leavener in it, it has baking powder, and salt. The salt helps bring out the natural flavors and also gives it a little bit of oomph. But then you need a liquid, and we are not going to use a traditional liquid like water. We're gonna use something that has some fat, some body, and also moisture in it, and that is plain Greek yogurt. If you follow Savory Experiments, you know how much I love a good plain Greek yogurt. I use it for everything. I use it instead of sour cream, I use it instead of mayonnaise, I use it in dips and in salad dressings and aiolis, all sorts of stuff. And today, let me get to the bottom of this here, we are gonna use it in dough. So I have one and a half cups of self-rising flour in the bowl, and I am going to use a heaping one cup of plain Greek yogurt into the bowl. And that's it. Now I'm gonna stir. This comes together and it feels a little bit sticky and a little bit crumbly. In fact, some people say that the dough is a little bit too dry and crumbly. And my response is, you're doing it right. It is supposed to be precisely that way. After we get this to mix together, and it takes a little while, it takes a little bit of muscle strength, but you will get it together. I'm gonna use my spoon to help me out here. You are going to refrigerate it for at least 30 minutes, and that chilling is really what's gonna bring the dough together and make it a lot easier to work with in the long run. So the next question is, what are we gonna make with this dough? Well, you can of course make bread, like bread sticks. We're gonna make bread sticks today with my famous butter garlic sauce, but you can also transform this into pizza dough. You can make it into cinnamon rolls. You can make garlic knots, all sorts of fun bread boxes with cheese in the center. It's just a slightly healthier dough. See how it's coming together, but it is a little bit dry, it is a little bit crumbly, that's completely normal. You can also smell it. I love the tang of Greek yogurt. Okay, this dough is as mixed as it's gonna get for right now. I'm going to cover it with some saran wrap, some plastic wrap, and throw it into the fridge for at least 30 minutes. Okay, our dough has chilled. This one went for about an hour. And as you can see, it comes together a little bit better after it's been chilled. I am going to put some more self-rising flour on my work surface. It's probably a little bit more than I needed. I took off my rings, I washed my hands so I could work with my hands. It's the best way to work with dough in my opinion. I'm gonna move some of this flour over to the side here because I don't need all of it. Too much flour will dry out that dough. And now I'm gonna put the dough on the work surface. So the other thing is, is that this one recipe, a single recipe, doesn't make too much dough. In fact, we're only gonna make about four breadsticks from that one, but it's also easy to make more than one batch. You should use three cups of flour and two cups of Greek yogurt, and that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna make mine into a little disc here, and with my pastry cutter, divide it into should put some flour on my pastry cutter. It's a little sticky. Fourths. And from there, I'm gonna take my little pie shapes and form them into logs to make breadsticks. Like them to be about six inches or so. Okay, don't have to be perfect. Put them out onto your baking sheet. I use a parchment lined sheet. I wouldn't grease or oil them because the grease and oil can often burn and it'll burn the bottom of your dough. It will rise a little bit because there is a leavener in it, so make sure you place them about two to three inches apart. They won't get huge, but they will rise a little bit. Okay. And they don't have to be pretty and perfect. They're breadsticks. They're meant to be eaten, not to be admired and adored. Okay, there we go. 
So we have our four breadsticks. I'm gonna pop these into the oven for about 25 minutes at 350 degrees. And when they come out, we're going to baste them with a lovely garlic butter sauce. So our dough is out of the oven and it is nice and lightly browned. And now we're gonna use my famous garlic butter. This is a clarified butter with fresh garlic, parsley, and lemon zest, so it really gives you a nice tang. This dough is going to soak that butter up, so make sure you baste it right before you're ready to serve. And baste it generously because it's garlic bread. I'm supposed to be serving these to my kids, they aren't home yet. We might just tell them that I didn't make garlic bread because this might be my dinner right here. I'm gonna serve it with a side of marinara sauce, but I also love it with like a garlic cream sauce or an Alfredo. And sometimes I even put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Just depends on the day. There you go. From my kitchen to yours, we have magic garlic butter breadsticks made with Greek yogurt. Have a great day.